We use little boards like this every day, but do we really know what happens inside a circuit board? Today I'm going to peel back the layers and take a microscopic journey deep into the heart of a circuit board to uncover the hidden ecosystems that power our digital lives and gaming rigs. So, whether you're watching this from your phone, a laptop or even your TV, there's a very good chance that there's a circuit board sat in the middle making it all work. A PCB or a printed circuit board isn't just a green slab with lots of wiggly lines. No, it's a complex multi-layered structure engineered with extreme precision. So before we dive in, let's just get a little bit of a lay of a land. So a PCB's main purpose is to hold everything in place and connect all of the different electronic components together on tiny highway called traces, which are etched out of copper. You can think of it as your ultimate planned community where every resident has a home, a job, and a network of roads to connect them all together. So let's take a journey and see what's really going on beneath the surface of a circuit board. So most circuit boards are made up of multiple layers. You have the top silk screen where labels and markings go. These act like street signs and building numbers, helping engineers know where everything goes. Then you have the iconic green colour. This actually comes from a protective layer called the solder mask, and its job is to insulate copper highways and prevent accidental short circuits. But the real magic isn't just on the surface. The true complexity is actually hidden in layers we can't see. Next, we have the copper layers, the highways for electricity. These are made up of thousands of pathways that make up the board's circulatory system. These highways carry data and power and race along at incredible speeds. And in between, usually a fiberglass composite called FR4. It's a strong insulator and some advanced boards can actually even have up to 16 or more layers, like a digital skyscraper for electrons. But there are more important components inside. Let's take a look at some of the key players. First up, we have resistors. They control current flow like electrical brakes. They carefully control the flow of electricity to make sure every component gets just the right amount of power without being overwhelmed. Then we have capacitors. They store and release energy quickly. These act like tiny rechargeable batteries, storing up energy and releasing it when needed. They're essential for keeping the voltage stable and filtering out electrical noise, ensuring a smooth power supply for the more sensitive parts of our city. ICs, or microchips? Well, they're the brains, handling logic, memory, or communication. An IC is a whole miniaturized circuit of its own, sometimes with millions or even billions of microscopic parts packed into every single chip. They do the heavy lifting, like processing data or storing information. Essentially, they're the brains of the whole operation. Next, we have a diode. A diode is an electrical component that allows current to flow in one direction only, like a one-way valve for electricity. And these tiny little dots, they're the wires. They're vertical connecting layers, letting electricity travel in 3D. This is the part of the journey that most of us never see. So we're going to move beyond the surface inside the board itself. So if we could pass through the copper layer, we'll find ourselves inside the core of the board, the FR4 fiberglass. So how do the signals get from the top where we just were to the other layers buried deep inside? So to put it simply, yeah, this is where our wires come in. Wires are tiny copper plated holes that act like elevators between the different floors in our city. A signal can travel along a trace on the top layer, duck into a wire and pop out at a completely different layer on the board. This is what turns a simple flat board into a complex three dimensional superhighway for information. Some wires, like through hole wires, go all the way from the top to the bottom. But on more advanced boards, you'll find specialised types. So you have blind wires that connect an outer layer to an inner one. So think of it as like an elevator from the lobby to the fifth floor, but no further. Then you have buried wires. These connect two inner layers without ever actually touching the surface, like a secret underground tunnel. These advanced wires are actually what allows engineers to pack so much power into small devices like your smartphone. So why does this even matter? Well, circuit boards are the silent backbone of modern life. Without them, we wouldn't have smartphones, there would be no AI, there's no satellites or even game consoles. So understanding them isn't just for engineers, it's for anyone that's curious about the magic under the hood. 
So when you put it all together, you can finally see the true genius of the printed circuit board. It's not just a random collection of parts, it's a fully integrated three-dimensional electrical marvel. So, next time you tap your smartphone or start your car, remember, you're not just using a device, you're activating a world of microscopic architecture working in perfect harmony. It's actually incredible to think that this complex universe exists right under our fingertips every single day. So this one was a bit shorter than usual, but I found it really interesting, so I hope that you did too. Same time, same nerd channel. Thank you very much for watching, and if you found this journey fascinating, hit like and subscribe and tell me what we should explore next. Thank you very much.